welcome to the Nerdy Fitness Vlog with your host, yours truly, Pablo Gunner. And I am here because I'm going to be talking about nerdy fitness stuff, nerdy stuff, fitness stuff, combination of the two, stuff like that. So, uh, mainly I'm going to cover, I'm going to cover the workouts I did for the week because it's now, this is a weekly video from now on. Uh, so w what I ate, what I ate for the week, that's the second thing. Uh, um, you know, and, and the things that I checked out, the nerdy things, you know, whether it's comics, video games, movies, shows, anime, books, hentai, maybe not that so much. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's what I'm going to be covering. So starting off with workouts. So for day one, I was like, ah, I want to do hardcore cardio. But I also want to do yoga to loosen up. I like to do that as my Monday workout is do that yoga. So I call it X training because it has yoga, but really it's, it was just the yoga, okay? So I did the yoga and then I did it. Now I'm now calling this workout captain's cardio because it was cape shaped cardio, but that's already a thing. So I'm calling it captain's cardio because, you know, obviously. And so that's what I did. And so I did yoga and then I did the heart, my hardcore cardio workout, which I'm now calling Captain's Cardio, okay? And so that's what I did for my first workout, like I said, Monday on my Monday before work. Then after I got off, I did arms, as guardian arms as I call them. Now, let's be honest, Thor has the most amazing arms. I mean, those things are huge. Right in the movies, they're I mean, even the comics, they are massive. So, even if you're Captain America, you want to achieve those Asgardian arms by doing an Asgardian arms workout. So, that's what I that's what I do. I'm always trying to add workouts. If you have any suggestions, in fact, I saw a video in a in a group that I'm in, it was a uh, it's a fitness group, and so I saw this video of this guy doing this workout. So, I was like, I added it, I added it to the workout. So and uh, yeah, so and essentially what it is is you're over a bench, you know, the bench, you lean it, the leaned ones, you lean it over and then you do, you know, and you just do like, I think like 10 all together or 10 each arm, I'm not sure. But yeah, so, because uh, then it, isol it really isolates your bicep apparently. That's what he said. Because a lot of times when you do curls, it, it focuses on your shoulder, but this one makes it just focus on the bicep. Because it's, yeah. Anyways, so that's what the guy said. And he's swole, so I believe him. He had some jack buys. So anyways, yeah, so that's what I did for my second workout after I got off work. Then for my uh, my day two, you could say, or whatever, um, for, for the, uh, before I went into work that night, then I did I did uh, cardio, and once again, I was like, uh, I don't feel like the need to do yoga, but I'm gonna do the like, the punching, kicking stuff, which I feel like is kind of more, it is more DBZ focused, but it's also, to me, it's kind of X training, because like, to me, I love the idea of that the X-Men don't have to beat you with their powers, like they can literally beat you just by fighting you. Uh, they don't ever have to use their powers, but they're so, you know, that's why I like to pair the yoga with it because I go like, hey, yoga is like get your mind focused to, so that you can focus your powers, but then like get your body focused so you don't have to use your powers if you don't need to. So, but anyways, but it also makes me think of DBZ because of course it's a lot of punching, it's a lot of kicking and stuff like that. And that's what mostly DBZ is. So like I said, it's like my X training uh, DBZ workout that I like to consider it, or you could just, you know, whatever. But so it is mostly upper body cardio because it is mostly punches, different kinds of punches. But I do it, so I do it so it's like uh, punches, so it's like punches and then kicks, and then punches and then kicks, and I do that, and then eventually I combine them so that you're doing like combining punches and kicks into one thing. So, but yeah, so I just did that, and it was it ended up being pretty short. So it was it was the perfect, cause especially because I got out, I got there late um, that night, and then. In the morning, I did, I want to say I did legs. I'm pretty sure I did legs. Yeah. Um, so I did legs, and then uh, in the morning after I got off, of course, that was fantastic. Um, and then that night, I did cardio, or no, 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 no. Then, I, 
No, I'm lying. I'm lying. I didn't do cardio because I did cardio before. I did abs. So, but then this third night, and that's the thing is, uh, that was another thing is when I did abs, I was trying to do abs and my back was really hurting. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to do lower body workouts because those lower body workouts really, like, they really seem to hurt your back the most. Um, so uh, the best way to help with that, though, is by putting your hands under your tuchus, under your tush, under your sweet hiney, so that your spine does not hit every time that you're doing like leg lifts or raising your legs or whatever. That helps. Scratch that. I actually didn't work out in the morning because I had all kinds of stuff going on. I had, uh, you'll see in the other video, as I mentioned, um, I, I, I had to go work on the vehicle, and uh, so that's not what I did. Uh, I didn't work out, I completely spacing out. But, uh, so I didn't do that workout um, at night, so it screwed me up, because then I did my legs at night, and I realized that like I have the energy to do cardio at night, and I don't have the energy to do cardio in the morning. And so I was gonna do cardio in the morning when I got off, but I didn't have the energy, so I was like, screw it, I'll do an abs workout. And like I said, I want to do a lower abs, but it hurt my back, especially because the equipment I wear, you know, all kinds of gear and stuff, my back really hurt. So I was like, nope, I'll just do, I'll just do the other cardio one, like the more relaxed one. Um, uh, so I want to say I call it Avenger abs, I'm not sure. Um, so, but yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, so that's what I did because it's more focusing on the core and the upper, the more on the core, just co mostly core focused. Now, a little obliques, but mostly core and upper focused is what that one does. And so that's what I did. And then um, I was like, oh, I don't, I, I know, because like I said, I was like, I don't, for one, I then I went, and then when I went in that night, I was like, not only do I not have the energy to do, um, or, or I was like, no, not, I, like, I, it's supposed to be my arms workout, but I'm not going to do my arms workout. So I'm going to do, I'm gonna do cardio so I did cardio instead and so I kind of did like a mashup cardio like once again I did I was like nope no need for cardio it's the end I mean for the yoga it's in the middle of my week but I did do the hardcore cardio like I said I did the cape shape I did cape shape cardio I'm not cape shape uh, that's what I used to call it but captain's cardio I'm now calling it um, so I did that and that's what I did and then I got doubled so I wasn't able to work out but I did work out in because like I was stuck in the booth so I just did workouts in the booth so I ran for a little bit you know I just ran in place and stuff uh, for a little bit and then I did like arm circles and then I would run you know and then I would do like I would do uh, you know like I would just raise my you know I would just like raise my legs and stuff like that just like simple stuff you know until like my legs got tired I do that each leg and then I would like, once again, arm circles. I do arm circles forward, I do arm circles backward, like until I can't do it anymore. That's what I do. Same thing, arm circles, for, you know, in arm circles out, you know, until I couldn't anymore. And then I'll just, you know, I do like knees up, you know, just do that until I couldn't do it anymore. You know, deflect my feet up, down, you know, until it just got like super tight uh, and I couldn't really do it anymore. That's what I did. And that's what I did just for one thing until I did 30 minutes straight. And then after that, and then later, and then later, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do some more. I'm gonna try to do just mostly cardio and then some push-ups. So that's what I did is I mostly, I ran for like, or not ran, but I, I was like, you know, running in place, whatever, stepping in place, not stepping is a little more like jogging place pretty much. And I would did that for about 15 minutes. And then I did like wide, I did like wide grip, like as wide as I could, wide grip push-ups you know until as long as I could you know until I couldn't anymore off the counter then I would go back to running and pretty much from there on out I was doing like five minute intervals about five minute intervals of running I think it was more like seven six five is what I it turned out to be and then in between those intervals I would do push-ups so I did regular grip push-ups off the counter you know then I did like diamond grip push-ups off the counter you know and then I just finished out the running and that's what I did so that's what I that's what I did for that day four workout, and then like I said, I didn't go before because I needed to get my sleep. So I only had to get like five minutes, five hours, about five hours of sleep. I I did not sleep well. I kept on waking up, but uh, so 
I need to get like an anime hentai pillow or something so that I can cuddle with because I just, you know, I just don't sleep as good when I don't have someone to cuddle with. Um, so if there's any takers out there, um, no. Um, but if you have any good suggestions for anime or anti pillows, I'm down for that. Uh, so just for that instance, just for when I work doubles. Then on my last day, what I wanted to do was my arms workout and then yoga. But I'm pressed for time right now. I have to go get work done on my car. And so I'm taking it to my, bu my buddy who's a mechanic right now. Um, God bless his soul. Um, I mean, we pay him, of course. He gets paid very well. Uh, but anyways, but he does, he does do it for us. But anyways, so, uh, so I don't have time. I need to get the vehicle to him. I need to get the parts, whatever, whatever he tells me he needs, you know, I go get the parts, you know, go get him the Benjamins he needs, all that goodness. So I don't have, I don't have time. So, but I do need to clock in a wellness for work. So, and it only has to be um, 30 minutes, you know, and stuff. So I, that's what I do. Um, so I suit up, I get in there, do my warm up, and then I did yoga, and then I did some. I, there's this thing, I don't know if you all have heard about it, but there's this thing called rolling it out or roll, there's these rollers and they're like stiff. I want to say they're kind of like stiff styrofoam or stiff foam. And it is great. I love it because I don't like being touched or manhandled by people. So for me, it's perfect because it's a roller and it like, it's like a poor man's uh, massage, back massage pretty much, or just massage period. You could do it for your legs, arms, wherever you're sore and it helps relieve the soreness so much. And so, especially like I said, if you are you have back problems, I, it helps a lot. I don't have back problems, but like I said, with all that gear, it really helps. I can hear it, I can feel it, and I feel so much better when I use it. So that's what I did after, and like I said, that's all I had time for. I do have weights at home, so I'll probably do, like unfortunately I only have 10s, and this is also why I wanna get like my own gym subscription outside of uh, the gym that we have at work because so I could just go and lift on my own more than the weights that I have at home. Uh, so I'll probably do, you know, arms workouts, not just biceps, but a full um, arms workouts. I'll try to today if I have time and everything like that. So, so yeah, that was my workout. Now, as far as food goes, I'm gonna be honest. I ate like crap this week. Every once in a while, I have this hankering for bad food and it happens like every couple months or so, and I gotta remind myself how bad that bad food is. Not just how bad it is for me, but how bad it like it tastes and everything like that. So, uh, like each day before work, I went to like a different fast food place, and it like I said, just got one thing, one small thing, and it was bad, bad shit. So I went to like Taco Bell the first day, and I got like the, the it was like the beefy Frito burrito. It has rice, it has you know the beef, and then it has Fritos. And it's only like a dollar. It's a teeny little thing, but instantly it got in me. And I was like, no, I can feel the grease. I felt like just slow and sluggish right away, like it's sleepy. And I just felt like crap. And I was like, I made a terrible mistake, like Joe. And so, and then the next night I was like, oh, I'm hungry. So, and I, I think I had legs or something like that. So I was like, I need some protein. I don't have anything to bring with me. So I was like, screw it. I'm gonna get chicken McNuggets from McDonald's. I got the four piece. Not as bad, but still like, I was like, Ugh. I mean, it really, I think it only has like 210 calories, but I'm sure it has like all kinds of like fat in it and not the, you know, like just bad, you know, cholesterol and everything. So it doesn't have those values on the menu. But anyway, so that I was like, nope, no more nuggets for a couple more months. And then the wife actually hooked me up with a burrito from work, so, and they make those themselves. It was egg, cheese, um, and potato burrito. I told her, she's like, no meat? And I was like, no, no meat. I'm not doing like a hardcore, you know, workout tonight, so it's fine. I'm just doing cardio. And I was like, besides, that's, that's enough protein. Egg, cheese, you know, potato, that's perfect. Uh, you know, so it wasn't too big. It wasn't too much. It was perfect. I told her, you know what? get me one of those every day and I'll eat them before, uh, you know, like on my way to work for before my workout because that's like the perfect amount. So, 
I probably don't even need to eat the whole thing if I'm doing cardio. But anyways, or I'll just save it. I'll just save it for for after card, the after the cardio workout. But anyways, so yeah, and then uh, um, and then the wife got me some organic pizza, which was super freaking greasy and kind of tasted like it was gluten free too. Uh, and it kind of tastes like school pizza, um, but not as bad, not quite as bad, um, cause it tasted more real, but, uh, but it was, I was like, no, no more of this. Like this is way too greasy. I even use like a napkin on, like I use paper towels, like paper towels on top and on bottom. And it was still, it still had grease. It was bad. So, but for, for my main food though, that I had during the week, week was, I had my cheese stick after, you know, after my workout. Like once I get settled for work, I have my cheese stick. Then I'm good for a couple hours for that. Uh, maybe I'll have like some of my, my crisps, my like rice crisps that are like sweet barbecue. Um, I got from Smith's and those have good values. Lots of protein, pretty solid, good values. Also had this rice bag. It's, you warm it up and like you tear off the corner, you throw it in the microwave for three minutes. It is, it, you know, and it's it's rice, it's chicken, and there's vegetables in there, and it's perfect. And that's what I have as like, you know, in the middle of the night meal or whatever. Um, and then in the morning, I usually have my uh, tube of yogurt. It's like yogurt, but it's organic and it's better. Um, and so that's what I have in the mornings. And then um, after my workout, I usually have a peach or an orange as well as my snack pack which consists of like cheese cubes. And then the other half is like nuts and, uh, and dried uh, cranberries or craisins or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so that's what I have uh, most of the days. Uh, that's what I had. And that's, there was one day I had salmon. I had a piece of salmon. Um, like it comes into a thing. It's perfect. You, it's from Costco. You should get it. It's pre-seasoned. You just, you can throw it in the microwave. That's what I did. Threw it in the microwave for five minutes. It was a little overcooked for five minutes. I should have done like four minutes because it was already thawed out. If it's frozen, you should do it for five minutes. But yeah, so it was a little crispy, but it was, and it was a small piece. So, but it was just enough. But that's what I did for one of the nights um, instead of my rice bag. And then the wife, uh, the wife made me some, uh, it was like chicken, carrot, peas, um, and red pepper stir fry. Now it wasn't like fried fried, but like it came in like in, like a similar as the rice bag, but you actually have to cook it on the stove um, and stuff. And so that's what she made me. Um, the, the chicken was breaded, so I'm probably not gonna get that again, but it was pretty good. Um, so yeah, uh, and that's what I had for the last two nights. Like there was enough in there that uh, even for a double, I didn't finish it all. I had plenty of food this time around for for doing a double and another shift after. This is the first time ever. Usually I get food from Smith's. Afterwards, I usually get potatoes and chicken breast um, for that for that third shift after, you know, after I did the double. So anyways, uh, so yeah, it worked out really well. Like I said, um, that's what I mostly ate. Um, and, that's, and that's it. Um, this weekend, I'm probably gonna go to Matucci's and have some apps. Uh, it's this Italian restaurant in Rio Rancho. They also have one, I think, in Albuquerque, but they have a new one in Rio Rancho. It's fantastic, love it. Um, get some apps from there. App it up, have a the app in good time. Appa. So, uh, yeah, and then, so for nerdy stuff, I've, you know, I've re been reading the comics. It's so great, because DC sends us comics now digitally. So I get to read them early starting Friday. And so I get a leg up on um, reading the comics. So I got to read Metal 2 right away, which was so righteous. It is sick. Uh, it's, it's just getting so good. And then Action Comics is getting really interesting too. Like it's mind blowingly crazy. Uh, Teen Titans, like there's all, there's so many like DC, the DC, Rebirth DC, whatever, that, like this stuff is so good. And then of course, uh, Marvel's doing really great too with a lot of their new books, you know. Uh, they're, it's just freaking great. I just love a lot of their stuff. Um, a lot of the X-Men stuff is doing really well. I, I'm really loving it. So anyways, yeah. And then like for shows, I think, I don't think I really watch many shows. Um, there was Kenichi, which I love Kenichi because it's like a fighting style. Um, and it's like just this nerdy kid who's tired of getting beat up and tired of his friends getting beat up and stuff. So he wants to protect them and joins his like dojo or whatever. And then they up his training because like then like thugs start coming after him and they want to recruit him. 
it's it's great it's a great anime i'm, I'm not done with it so uh and then like for video games i've been playing infamous 2 and i there's also the nintendo uh direct which we're probably i'm probably going to cover with a podcast with uh slay j because he wants to complain about it i wish i, I wish i would have seen it so i can complain about it too maybe i will see it i'm not sure i might see mother with the wife because uh, she really wants to see that uh i don't know we'll see and uh that's pretty much it like the wife and i did get into hannibal uh which is on amazon prime and so we want to watch more of that we're probably gonna watch the mummy this weekend so yeah uh i think that is it for me for now i know this one went on long but it's a different you know i'm changing things up it's a week long it's a week so now it's longer and i'm gonna have to probably edit a lot of stuff out in this one so anyways i want to know what is your favorite kind of workout legs arms cardio um you know are you into crossfit like um do you just like running oh you know stuff like that not specific not specific very non-specific so yeah that's what i want to know um you know and that's it so that's it for now so stay fit stay healthy stay nerdy love and peace